Hello everyone, for DIYer here back with another tutorial video. Now in this particular tutorial I'll be doing a, uh, a Photoshop demonstration on how to create a transparent or invisible background. Now this particular version here I'm using of Photoshop is CS5 and this is on a uh, Mac but this does also apply to previous versions of CS5 as well as uh, the Windows version. So basically when you're creating a transparent background, this is something that is used for uh, either websites or uh, say if you're doing a video and you want to do a, a logo that stays throughout the video, uh, such as my videos, as you can see down in the bottom corner. Um, you can see I do have four DIYers there. And uh, so it just helps kind of add like an image uh, if you're doing two videos or if you're doing on the website, if you have an existing background, you can do this overlay of your logo itself instead of having to uh, struggle to match existing colors or anything like that. Now, with this method here, I'll be doing two different methods, or two different, I guess, variations of how it works. Um, one would be, say, if you have an existing logo, uh, these stars would represent that in the background. As you can see, it is on the bottom layer here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to extract this white space from the stars itself. And uh, next, I also have text here. Now, I've added a little bit of styling to the text just to make it just more appealing to the eye, but this is just an example and you can see it is on its own layer so first what I'll start by doing here is I'll start by removing this white space in the background now you want to make sure you do have that layer selected and we'll just go here to your eraser tool and we'll do the magic eraser uh, because that automatically selects um, what to erase in the background you can set your tolerances uh, depending what colors you have uh, I'm just going to set them at zero because it's fairly straightforward I don't have any fading or anything like that let's go erase Look in there Now, as you can see, we've erased all the white space here. Now, if you're having a little problem uh, seeing what white space there is here, what I've added that layer on top here. What I've done here, I just added another layer so you can actually see what is going on in the background here. And I'll just add a color to it so you can see. And you can see I have missed a little area in there. Now, you can see there is still a little bit of white edges around, but this is purely for... Um, educational purposes only. I'm just going quick by it. So there you have it. So when I remove the text layer, you can see all the white space is removed. Now as for the text layer, the text layer will pretty much leave it as it is. Uh, but the only thing I want to show you how to do a transparency with it. So what we'll do is we'll actually add a drop shadow into the text itself. So say if we do have a black background here, what I'll do is just change the color of the background. Just say to a uh, just a pale yellow color. I'll uh, create the distance a little further off here. Now we also want to add the blend mode to normal because depending on what background does go on, um, on the blend modes it will have uh, different effects on it. So just normal, just the easiest way to go, just for the demonstration purposes here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave it at 75%. Uh, spread basically just creates a harder edge on it and uh, having less of a spread creates more of a softer edge and just so you're not so focused on that shadow in behind here what I'll do is I'll increase the size so it adds somewhat of a blur to it so as you can see there so click OK there you have it now just removing the black layer background as you can see you can still see it is slightly there so next what we we'll want to do is we will save this so you do file, save as, and I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Now I already have it labeled as a, uh, this is just for the Photoshop file itself. What we'll do is we'll select another format here. Now the format we, we will be selecting is a PNG. So once you have that done, you have your name set in there. We'll do save, and it'll ask you uh, if you want to interlace. You can do none or interlace. Basically what the difference is between these two it's just how the image loads uh, when you are hosting it somewhere, say on a website. Um, with none, it'll just load as a normal image, so it'll slowly show up in portions. Uh, with interlaced, basically the image shows up right from the start, uh, but as it progresses further, it, uh, it creates a higher quality 
uh, just so the image is always there, but it goes from a less quality to a higher quality until it's fully done loading. So I click OK, and there you have it. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you with the other method itself here. Now I'll just change the background here just to a gradient view. Just to show you how this works here. So we'll do is this, just to do the comparison between it. So again, without uh, making that background invisible, such as it did before, so do file, save as, do the exact same thing, and we'll just label this as number two. Also save it as a PNG file. Save. Again, we'll just do none for interlace. Okay. And there you have it. Now, basically, when I go back to my desktop here, as you can see, I have the two files right here. Okay. So, as you can see, when I do upload it like so, it is, uh, it does have a transparent background in behind it. Okay. Now when I go to the next one here, when I don't make that background uh, invisible, you can see the gradient does show. Now again, uh, if, you are, if you do have limited space and you want to uh, make this logo as big as possible while fitting that limited space, you will have to uh, cut the area around the outside. So basically just changing the canvas size it isn't a big deal. So this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. As well as don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos as well as like my video.